Good afternoon. Since early last year, the FOMC has significantly tightened the stance of monetary policy. Today, we took another step by raising our policy interest rate a quarter percentage point, and we are continuing to reduce our securities holdings at a brisk pace. We've covered a lot of ground, and the full effects of our tightening have yet to be felt. Looking ahead, we will continue to take a data-dependent approach in determining the extent of additional policy firming that may be appropriate. Recent indicators suggest that economic activity has been expanding at a moderate pace. Growth in consumer spending appears to have slowed from earlier in the year. Although activity in the housing sector has picked up somewhat, it remains well below levels of a year ago, largely reflecting higher mortgage rates. And higher interest rates and slower output growth also appear to be weighing on business fixed investment. The labor market remains very tight. Over the past three months, job gains averaged 244,000 jobs per month, uh, a pace below that seen earlier in the year, but still a strong pace. Inflation remains well above our longer run goal of 2%. Over the 12 months ending in May, total PCE prices rose 3.8%, excluding the volatile food and energy categories, core PCE prices rose 4.6%. In June, uh, the 12 month change in the Consumer Price Index, or CPI, came in at 3.0%, and the change in the core, core CPI was 4.8%. Inflation has moderated somewhat since the middle of last year. Nonetheless, the process of getting inflation back down to 2% has a long way to go. At today's meeting, the committee raised the target range for the federal funds rate by a quarter percentage point, bringing the target range to 5.25 to 5.5%. We are also continuing the process of significantly reducing our securities holdings.